Okay, we're going to do something a little bit different this time. I'm going to show you my process on how I made this webtoon background. So the program I'm using is Clip Studio Paint EX. I'm sure you can use the same stuff with the other ones. But anywho, this is a 3D model. It's pre-made and this is the free version that I'm using. And I'm just going to go ahead and extract the lines. Um, this feature is only available, I think, in the EX version. So anyways, after I extract the lines, I turn it into a raster layer. And then I use the gradient circle tool. And if you're wondering, where is all this stuff at? I'll make like a ebook PDF so that you guys can like you know see what tools I use but anyways I use my airbrush and I just start like brushing stuff around in the corner edges and you might be wondering how do you know what to put stuff where I listen to my brain if my brain screams then I remove stuff there but I want it like I want it like light where the windows were at so I just like light ended up there and I'm still using the airbrush tool and now I'm just adding like darker colors here why because I don't know I just wanted to and my brain's like put some dark there and then my brain's like no remove that because like I don't know if other people deal with this but like I like to listen to when my brain screams and by brain scream I mean like you know when you draw something it's like nah that's not it and then you change it other people when they draw stuff like they can like think of shapes and imagine like forms and stuff my brain doesn't work like that my brain more so like screams like ah it does that make sense I'm, I'm not making sense I'm sounding a little crazy but that's what I do I just I put stuff in certain places and I like to use the 3d models for helping me with guiding where like shadows could be because that is with the 3d model but I didn't feel like using that there because my brain's like I don't want to use that so I did it because I could do whatever I want because Who's going to stop me but anyways <laughs> just let me let me let me calm down so now I'm still using the airbrush tool and I'm doing a little well yep I did a little a little shine there yep I did a little shine I just erased it a little bit because I was like oh let's put some let's put some highlights let's put some 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 of that sunshiny glow there and then I erased some more because I was like now nah, I don't like that <laughs> so after that, I'm just still erasing certain parts to give it like that anime-esque kind of vibe that I was kind of wanting to go for. And so, you know, you need the little lights for the little for the little ceilings. And I decided to take that light off because I didn't like it. <laughs> so again, I draw. I just this is just my process. It's very chaotic. And there's lots of different ways to make webtoon backgrounds. Sometimes I just do a solid color and I just, that's it. I'm just doing the colors. And then other times, you know, I, I go through like this detail. How long it usually takes me, I don't know. I need to look back at this recording and see how long it takes me. Oh, also, I'm rambling. I'm so sorry. This background is actually available to download. Just go to s Marshita Studio and you can download this and use this for your webtoon. If you are wanting to start a webtoon but you're struggling with making backgrounds, this can be like your little like thing to help you kind of like jump into the pool and get started so you can have fun creating whatever story you're making and if you're like I don't need this background then you don't you don't have to use it it's okay so yeah so this is what I do with my backgrounds with well with some of my backgrounds other backgrounds again I just use like just I just use colors and whatnot okay well what am I doing here? Oh, now I'm doing the hard shadow. So I use a selection tool and then I just use my airbrush so I can just like, I don't, why wasn't I using the snap to perspective on this one? Cause like with the, I'm not going to go into that. I have to just like do an uh, updated video on how, cause this was, this one was like back in 2001, but yeah, I'm just using the selection tool and then just using the airbrush and then I'm just like smearing over that so I can get like those nice crisp lines. My brain didn't like that apparently. So it looks like, yep, I'm looking at the shadows to see. And you see, I'm not like, I didn't like how dark that looked. I was like, let me see how this looks. So that's why I was like moving that down and I'm using the, um, what do you call it? The color balance to see if I can get like more of the afternoony ready kind of color vibe, you know? So that's me not knowing what I'm doing and I'm just going back and forth, back and forth. And then I go ahead and go to hue and saturation. And I wanted to see what a couple of the other colors look like. So that's what this is right here. Then I went back to color balance and then I just edited it a little bit. And now those lines that I extracted, I put those back over top of the colored layer. And I'm going back in with my airbrush and I'm just going over those lines. I'm adding like some 
like how do you say this the lighter lines are like lighter color does that make sense the lines that are at the edge they're like a lighter color so it gives it like that anime-esque look and it kind of takes away from like that 3d model but i mean i think it takes it away it doesn't look it doesn't look like a 3d model to me anymore it looks like an anime background does it does it's okay if it doesn't look like that to you because my brain was happy with that and since my brain has access to the dopamine i like to listen to my brain so i did it i that's just what i did i'm just using the airbrush here and just going over the lines and just smearing 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 smearing, smearing. and then there we go what am i doing now I probably should have thought about what to talk about before just like pressing record and talking. Did you guys enjoy this? Oh, this is what I'm doing now. Now I'm doing the Gaussian blur. I used to call this Garcian blur until so I heard someone else say it was Gaussian blur. Okay, that was all. That's how it looks. Okay, love you. Bye.